Hello everyone, my name is Stop Motion Productions. Today I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing the Jack Specific 2.5 inch Sonic the Hedgehog figure. Now I've been anticipating this figure for quite a little while. I've been searching from it from store to store and I'm happy to say I've finally found it. Um, there was only a couple of these guys left in stock. Unfortunately Sonic was the only character. I got to go ahead and purchase the Green Hill Zone playset. So that's a fun purchase, but I also got this guy because I wanted to unbox him with a camera. First I'll go ahead and go over the box. Now the box is the exact same, except it's more simplified on the 2.5 inch figures. It's the same as the bendy line and the 4 inch figure line. Um, here we, we decided to put the warning at the very front of the packaging. Um, it's 3 and up. Go Sega. Um, there are five points of articulation on this. There'll be more on that later. Uh, we have a little description here. The world's fastest blue hedgehog. Sonic runs at top speed and can use his special homing attack ability to destroy robots. I don't think that I don't know if they'll do this, but if they ever release a classic Sonic figure, they're gonna have to remove the homing attack part because classic Sonic was never able to home attack. Um, here we have the figures that are in the rest of the 2.5 inch line. There's no Shadow and there's no Eggman. Those are in the 4 inch line. We have Sonic, Knuckles, Tails, Metal Sonic, and Chow. Hopefully I can get down to reviewing these guys later. Might be the same video, it might not be. Pretty cool photo of Sonic right here. But it, I'd say it's a pretty simple box. It's a nice design and I think it fits the figure well. So with the details of the box out of the way, let's go ahead and get right into the figure. So now that I've gotten the Jack specific Sonic out of his packaging, I can now review him and compare him to the other two figures. Right off the bat, you'll notice that Jack specific Sonic is smaller than Jasper's and Tommy's Sonic because he is 2.5 inches compared to the standard 3 inch tradition. Um, I think that you may think that um, Jack specific Sonic might have more limited articulation because he is smaller, but you would actually be wrong if you compare that to Tommy. I guess we'll get into our first comparison now then. Jack specific Sonic has a pretty good amount of he has a pretty decent amount of articulation for a small figure. He can twist his head left and right. He has ball joint arms so they can go all around, and he has ball joint legs. The Tommy Sonic that's five points of articulation, but the Tommy Sonic is more limited in his poses. He can turn left and right, ball joint arms, but his legs go back and forth. They don't really compare. To this guy. So this guy definitely has better articulation. He cannot move at the hands or wrists and he cannot move at his ankles. So that's fine though because he's a smaller figure. I guess now we'll go ahead and compare him to Jazzwares Sonic. Jazzwares Sonic is completely different from both Tommy and Jack specific. He has I think around 14 points of articulation. However that sacrifices the cleaner sculpt. I like the sculpt on this guy, but it makes him look strong, much stronger than he's supposed to. They're supposed to have kind of noodly limbs, but I don't mind it. Uh, Jazzwares Sonic has a special place in my heart. So I guess we'll now get down to the sculpting of this guy. He has a smile that people have complained about that's painted red. Uh, you guys may not mind that, but it kind of... it just kind of looks odd. I mean, but it's fine though. I, I know people prefer like a carved in smile, but I don't really mind it. Apparently it's not present in the 4 inch Sonic version of this, so that's fine. His legs are a little strange. I don't know if you can see it, but they just, they look kind of curvy and off. Like, uh, I mean, like you can stand him. You can stand him up pretty well, at least on my figure. Like, I couldn't, some people like couldn't just do that and he would stand up. Some people, like, try to stand him and he'll easily fall over, but I don't have a problem with that. On this figure, what I like about him is that he uh, he doesn't just have a neutral posing with his right hand; it's up and a pointing, so that can have some pretty cool um, posing. His left hand is in a fist, which is fine. You can get some ah <laughs> angry poses. Um, I think they did his quills just right. Um, yeah, I think they got all of them there. They added the number to the very back of the shoe which people may find is bad now what i like is the legal information is harder to see on there but it's there and they sculpted the 
stripes at the bottom of his shoes, which are supposed to be there. Now, this is really comparing more of the Resaurus figure, which I shouldn't, but I will. Uh, what I like is that the Resaurus figure had white stripes. This guy does not. But I think that's because that this is a different era of Sonic. That was more during the Dream Dreamcast era. So I think they completely got rid of that from his design. Now, a little problem with him that you'll notice is there will be plain, uh, paint splashes on some of the figures. I had three different ones to choose from. He was the only character at the store, though. But that's fine. And I was about to choose one that I thought looked better. However, he had blue paint splotches on the stomach, so I'm happy I caught that before I picked him up. Um, but other than that, you shouldn't really run into some major problems. He's not like your average action figure. He It's kind of remarkable that they managed to do him in such a small size and still make him as cool as he is. He's fun probably for stop motion. Um, I normally would use Tomy for stop motion. However, I think this guy can be pretty cool as well. You can maybe do like a younger Sonic and then an older Sonic. I mean, you can maybe do that. Um, but I'd say his paint job is good, his sculpt is good, his articulation is good for the size, and I think it's a pretty great action figure. I highly recommend picking it up. And one last thing that sometimes I mention when looking at Sonic figures are his ears. They don't look very rounded, they look kind of unnatural. Like They point like a kind of like a cat's ears, but I'm not really complaining. I don't really notice that all that much. Um, but other than like the complaint about his smile being a little bit strange, I'd say it's a pretty solid figure. I'd give him probably an 8 out of 10. Now before I sign off, I'd like to say one last thing. I'm going to be starting a Sonic series that's not going to be completely animated, but it's going to have the action figures, and they'll have some movements and all that, and I think it's going to tell a good story. So if you're interested in that, be sure to stick around on my channel. Um, so I'm really happy with this figure. I'm satisfied. I'm going to look for the other characters. I'm going to look for the 4-inch renditions of them. So I think that's it for this video. Thank you all for watching, and have a good one.